What's up my good people? This is your boy Kakajuri to USA. Karibu sana. Welcome to this awesome and beautiful channel. Now, today I want to give you the details uh, and I want to give you the documents that you need uh, that you need after you fill your DS-260. So, uh, I want to give you a recap of what we talked about last time and I want also to, you know, inform you about the documents that you need uh, when you're filling for your green card and all the things that you uh, require. I'll give you about the costing of uh, the green card, how much it costs from the medical, from the interview, everything, the marriage certificate, everything. So uh, keep it kakajonito. And if you're new uh, into this channel, kindly consider subscribing, liking, and watching all the videos that I have for you. Now, for previously, we had already talked about uh, the DS-260, and I told you the DS-260 is an immigrant form that you fill. Uh, when you are filling for your green card or when you want to have a visa for to go to USA and you want to also to become a permanent president in USA. So uh, apart from that, uh, the details that I give you, I want to tell you that uh, perhaps maybe you don't have a host by now. Uh, I want to tell you that uh, there is still hope for you. So what you need to do is that uh, in that part where they ask for a permanent resident, you know, where they ask for a permanent resident, where I told you that you write uh, your host. In that position uh, where you can write Neil, uh, for the time being, you can write it Neil, uh, the, uh, the phone number Neil, the host uh, name Neil, uh, until that time you get a host. That means uh, you can fill your DS-260 right now, you can say Neil in that position, but when now you uh, get to go to the interview, now you have to, you know, you can now uh, answer and fill those information and update now the host and everything else. Also, I want to tell you, if you don't have a marriage certificate, if, for example, you are applying uh, as married, if you are applying as married and you don't have a marriage certificate, I want to tell you that uh, there are still also hope for you. You don't need the marriage certificate as for now, but after you have filled your DS-260, what you need to do is that indicate the time you got married. Uh, indicate the time you got married and that will work. Uh, see, and then after you fill your DS-260 and it has gone through, now you'll come to incorporate now the marriage certificate because you will have applied for your marriage certificate by then. So I want to encourage you to apply for your marriage certificate as for now so that when it comes to going to the interview and everything else, you'll be having your marriage certificate. Also, I want to say, for example, somebody doesn't have a passport as for now, start looking for your passport. I told you your passport costs from 4,500 uh, Kenyan shillings to around 6,500. So start looking for your passport right now because remember all these things are uh, when you're applying for these things, they take time and uh, you know, the earlier the better, as we say in Kenya, mapema ndi your best. So mapema ndi your best, aputa passport yako mapema, apply passport yako mapema, uka inayo mapema ndi your best. Also something else I want to say is uh, kuna what we call the police clearance certificate. Uh, tunapata pale pa DCI na pia you can apply it online. Uh, you, you just apply it online, then you end up like a DCI, you can do, uh, the fingerprints and everything. It doesn't take long. You can apply that uh, maybe, for example, in May, apply for it, and uh, within a month, utako umesha enda na umefanywa the fingerprints and your police clearance certificate. So, the earlier the better, and after phase video, you can choose to go to the DCI or you can choose to go to the uh, Huduma Center. That is the easiest thing you need to do, and through that, you'll be having your police clearance certificate, hence you will not have struggles while going for the interview. That is when you get selected, of which here I am having hope that all of you guys, uh, you'll get selected. So I also want to tell you that uh, if you have uh, done your high school, uh, you need your certificate. So if you don't have your KCSC certificate or your high school certificate, start looking for it. Uh, payment your best early, early, early. Start looking for your high school certificate because you really need it there for you to for you to go to the interview. So basically, if for example you feel you are DS to sixty early and you get selected, uh, that means that maybe for example. Uh, the earlier the better, you know, your case number will be between 1 and 2400. That means you'll be uh, among the first people. So when you get this, it means it, you will receive your 2NL. When you receive your 2NL, uh, remember, your 2NL is a letter that shows you that uh, you are supposed to schedule for your interview and do your medicals for because you have an interview with the 
with the US Embassy. So at this time, uh, you need to schedule your interview and also you need to schedule for your medical. So what you do, uh, there is uh, this board that we call the IOM. Uh, the IOM is the one that is in charge with the so-called the medicals and it's located at Digiri, that is on your way to the Ruaka, the Ruaka way or the Ruaka road. So it's at Digiri. So what you need to do is that uh, I'll give you also the so-called the website that you may be able to know where am I supposed to be scheduling my medical, that is the IOM. And for the interview, you also need to schedule it. Uh, it's more like to book an appointment, you know, and say confirm that you're supposed uh, that you'll be going for the for the interview. So also something else that you need to do when you receive your two and you're supposed to do what we call the KCSE verification. So the KCSE verification, that's uh, another thing that you need to do. And how you do the verification of the KCSE, there is what we call the KMIS, uh, the KMIS kit or the chemist website. Uh, I'll be also be uh, putting that website below. It's a NEC website where you go and you register and after you register and log in, now what you'll do, you'll put your details as when you did your KCSE and you know what, you'll do a verification. It has all the uh, the processes are laid down, so what you need is your, your index number, and after you give your index number, the year of which you did your KCSE, and it will give all the details. And uh, in this verification, you will now put the consular and everything else. I've already done a, a video concerning the KCSE verification, so you can check uh, down there on my on my videos. Uh, it shows you how you do it from uh, the start to the uh, to the to the end. So something that I want to touch about uh, the medicals is that uh, remember uh, it's very very important uh, for you to be like held uh, okay and uh, just pray to God that everything goes on well and that you are healthy and also I pray because remember uh, the, the USA has an issue with the TB. It has a very big issue with the TB and uh, you know like the STIs and the STDs they really care a lot and uh, you need you need to be clean when it comes to TB and the STD. So uh, that's one thing that I want to tell you. So pray to God that also your chest is okay and you don't have TB because when you have TB, that can deter you from, you know, being uh, going through the medical because without having the, uh, without uh, having the medical, you cannot go to the interview. So you really need to pray and, uh, you know, ask God for intervention so that at least your chest will be okay and you will not show any signs of TB because with TB you cannot uh, be, uh, you cannot be allowed to come to the USA. That means you cannot be allowed to go to the interview and that means that your journey might end there until that time that you will prove that uh, you are TB free or you are uh, clean from TB. So uh, be very, very careful and about TIs and STDs also be very, very careful because, you know, those, things, those are some of the things that may uh, deter you from, you know, going to uh, or coming to the USA, that, that is after you got selected. So assuming everything goes well, that you don't have TB, you don't have STIs, and you go through your medical and everything has gone well, now you go to the interview. And as you go to the interview, you are there early in the morning. I told you it's in Jigiri, that's the location. And... Uh, uh, you've gone there and you have done everything and now you have passed your interview. What happens next? What happens next is that uh, you'll be given a green paper, a green paper that will have, be having a congratulatory message that shows you that, you know, congratulations, you have, uh, you, have, uh, you, have, you have won a green card, you have been given a, a visa for, to go to the USA. That shows you that uh, you're able now to, to come to the USA. That is one uh, of the things you'll be given, a green paper, and also you'll be given another white paper. This is uh, the one that contains information from the USIS, uh, because this is the now uh, the information, the one that has the information on how you're going to pay for your green card when you, when you come to USA or even uh, when you're just still in Kenya, so that you can, your green card can start to be being processed. So those are some of the things that you need to know about it. And uh, the last thing that I want to tell you, the last thing that I want to also tell you about is our estimate 
of the course that of the things that you'll be leading and uh, of the whole journey of the green card so you know it's very important for you to know that there is a cost uh, that goes with the with the green card you know most of the people have this uh, you know have this notion that when it comes to green card lottery it, uh, it is free i want to tell you that green card lottery is not free what is free is the opportunity for you to be able to you know to be uh, to play the green card but the process itself has cost because remember they also use resources they also use uh, uh, ma uh, personnel people to you know to do this all this work those people need to be paid also so it's the process is uh, the process itself is costly but the chance and the opportunity is free so that's one of the things that people should know and people have this myth that when you win green card you'll be given everything you'll be given a house you'll be given a car you'll be given you know you'll be given a job and everything else no let me tell you it's not like that you need to sell uh, you need to look for a host you need also to look for a job those are some of the things that are the myths that uh, people are having but one of these fine days I'll, I'll talk about the myths that people have and what uh, the truth about one thing you need to do uh, you need to know is that green card has a cost and i want to give you the cost as per what you'll be doing the process itself and uh, the estimate of the cost that you need so let me start with those people that maybe are in Kenya and they are seeking for a police clearance form. So when you are seeking for a police clearance form when you're in Kenya, as I told you, you use your e-citizen and you can be able to apply there and go to the DCI or the Huduma Center. Now, when you want to apply for it, it will cost you around 1,050 shillings. That is for the processing of the of the police clearance certificate that is the cost for the police clearance certificate and uh, for the marriage certificate uh, for those who in kenya you know you'll use the ag to you know for you to be able to get the marriage certificate and for the marriage certificate it will cost you around fifteen thousand. so if you are married and uh, you, you you applied your green card as married you need to seek for your your marriage certificate and apply as early as now so that by the time that you're going to go for your interview you'll be, have already gotten the marriage certificate from the AG and it will cost you approximately 15,000. For the KCSE verification you will need around 2,320. Those, that is for people who are in Kenya that's why I'm breaking it down for those people who are in Kenya. If you're in other countries, just know that you need to do all these things, but according to the system of your country. So for the medical, it's something that is uh, universal for the all people in Africa, in every place you are. So for the medical, it needs uh, an approximate of uh, $330. So that is what you need per person. So if you're a family of four, it's $330 times four. That is for the medical. So for those also people who are going for the interview, you also need the same amount. That is $330 per person. So depending uh, with your family, but if you're just alone, it's $330 for the medical and $330 for the, for the interview. That is for the visa. So for the interview, why you go with uh, that money is the, the one that processes your visa. That is in case you pass. But also remember one thing uh, I will caution you is that when you go for the uh, for the interview and you fail, they don't refund you that money. So that money is gone. So that's why we are saying it's good you have you be you be honest, and it's good that you uh, you share uh, all the details that are supposed to be shared and everything you say it rightly, so that you may not be hindered from getting this visa because it's a costly journey, and this costly journey if you mess around you can lose all that money in that opportunity for you to go to USA. So be honest and uh, give the information that is required. After that, now maybe uh, all that cost that I've given you, you will have already like gotten your, 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 your visa. So after you get your visa, now you've been given the green, uh, the green paper that gives you a congratulatory message about you winning or being, uh, going to the USA. And you've gotten another white paper that I still use for, you, uh, for uses. Uh, that is now for the payment of the green card processing. Now, what you need is that you will need that to pay the uses for the green card processing. You can choose to pay that uh, when you're in Kenya if you have money but you can choose to pay it uh, after you've reached uh, the USA. And that for the green card processing, the amount of money that you need for the uses, that is for the green card, 
uh, that will be $220, approximately $220. So for those people who will be traveling and everything, just know you will need also to, you know, you need to do some shopping. You need to do some shopping maybe for some clothes, some jackets, you know, and uh, some shoes here and there. So, so you'll need about, you know, like uh, about $450, you know, to do all that uh, kind of uh, small shopping because after all, you cannot just uh, come without having those uh, kind of things that you need, the necessity. Because remember, I told you that here in USA, things are expensive. So you cannot count, you know, like I'll go to the USA and I'll go and buy my clothes there, I'll go and buy my shoes there. Remember, you're still new and when you come here, you'll convert whatever you'll be having to USA currency. So you might not be able to afford some things here rightly after you've landed here because you don't have a job. So the books important thing you need to do uh, is you know you need to to prepare yourself so buy yourself some clothes buy yourself some shoes buy yourself some jackets you know winter jackets and everything you know just ha have a small shopping for yourself so that when you are coming here at least you'll be able to uh, you know to survive for the meantime before you get a job and you'll not have a struggle with uh, clothing and anything yeah, so something else I'll tell you is that uh, you also need to travel, and also traveling, as I told you, the myth that people have, they think that uh, coming to the USA, they usually pay for you, uh, even the air ticket. No, for the air ticket, you'll cater for yourself. So if you're alone, uh, have, an, uh, have a budget of around $820, $820, Just is, that is for you uh, you know, for your transport, uh, uh, for your air ticket to USA or until you get to USA. So that is around for one person. So if you are around a family of four or a family of three, that will be the amount. It will be 820 times the number of people you are. That is an estimate of uh, the budget that I'm giving you so that you may be able to know that uh, this journey is, uh, is costly and it's worth because, you know, that is not a... That is, that's an, a, a one chance that everybody is seeking. Remember, green card uh, is something that every year people are filling out. Millions and millions of people are trying to get this opportunity to come to the USA through green card. And remember, only 50,000 people, uh, only 50,000 people are given a chance every year. So you can imagine, even in Kenya alone, you can, there is uh, around... 10 million people who apply for green card every year. That, those are the statistics that are there. So you can imagine having 10 million people applying only in Kenya and now globally, how many people are applying for this. So it's an opportunity that you get, but this opportunity is also costly and you need to arrange yourself. You need to, you know, you need to plan and also be able to do these things uh, in orderly manner. So I'm telling you all this information so that you may be able to plan everything and so that you may know there are some costs that uh, I'll, be, I'll be needed. There are some things that I'll be needed to do, and there, are some, there is a cost that uh, is in this journey so that you may plan and you know where to get this money and finances as early as now. So start planning for your journey. Start planning for everything, and just know that honesty is very important. Honesty is key. And remember to have all your details and all the details in a correct manner so that you may be able to achieve uh, the goal which is attaining the green card so from me i say thank you so much and i tell you i wish you all the best in the application and everything else i'll keep on updating you and giving you more information concerning green card and concerning here the real life here in usa it's your boy kaka Jonito. i appreciate you for subscribing to this channel and liking these videos so if you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly consider subscribing if you haven't given me a like to these videos give me a like give a give it a thumbs up so that it may be a uh, fair to many people and so that this information may reach many people from me it's a wrap and i say thank you and bye